I really didn't. I really didn't understand what the filibuster is still. I mean, what exactly what is it? Okay, and I probably should have explained it a little better. So, each house, the House of Representatives and the Senate has rules. In the Senate, they came up with this 60 rule threshold, right? Two reasons. One, any legislation that gets 60 votes in the Senate, a president can't veto. They can't. Cannot. Okay. Any bill that gets less than 60 votes, just a clear majority, a president can veto, send it back, not, not sign it into law. The rule is that the minority party, whoever's in the minority, under Obama, the Democrats was in the minority. Currently, under Biden, or under Trump, the Democrats were in the minority. So when, it, when you're in the minority, you want the 60 vote threshold. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise, whoever the majority party is, you'll, every time. Can, you'll get rolled every time. So it's a good rule because really you want bipartisan bills, right, that bills that both parties sign off on, and those bills have a tendency to stay, to okay. not get amended, like Obamacare, the Obamacare passed with just, even though it had 60 votes, it was all Democrats, no Republican votes, or maybe one or two, and that's why under Trump they tried to undo, yes. right, so Republicans, however, will we'll use the nuclear option, which means if they have a majority of votes, uh, voter votes to say, we're gonna employ the nuclear option, then that gets rid of <coughs> the filibuster and it's just a simple majority, 51 votes. And this, that's how it's spelled, F-I-L-I buster. F filibuster is F-I-L-I-B-U-S-T-R. Most of and us that's not know, an acronym for anything? Or is it no, just? Most of us know the filibuster <clears throat> when a, a senator can get up and talk for 24 hours. Yeah, that's what I knew of it. That is also, but that's not, that is found to be an ineffective way to filibuster because they're just, they have, the senators will leave the chamber and let you talk and wait till you finish and then come back and vote the way they want to vote anyway. So that's not really an effective way to filibuster or anything, it's just talking. What they do is they provide a 60 vote threshold. So in order for us to get bills that we want done, they're either gonna have to do the nuclear option or not do it at all. Nuclear option, removing the filibuster, but it's problematic <coughs> because they don't have the votes to do the nuclear option. Gotcha. Or, in 2022, turn 10 more Republican seats into Democratic seats, and then you'll have your 60. Yeah. That's what Obama had in his first two years. So that's what the filibuster is. So we can't run around thinking, oh, the Democrats have the House, the Senate, and the presidency. We can get anything done. No, they have to blow up the filibuster in the Senate and they need one vote, Joe Manchin out of West Virginia, Democrat, to vote along with the nuclear option. And right now he's saying he's not going to do it. So they don't even have the votes in order to do the nuclear option. So Kaz, how, what, how, what's the, the length of effectiveness of the nuclear option? Does it work per bill? Is it like that once they do it, it's gonna end filibuster forever? It's not, it's not forever. It's gonna be, it can be used for that so each Congress is only two years, mm -hmm. right? And then it's, so in this Congress, it'll be for this Congress, okay. right? So, or, and I'm not crystal clear on this, if they can do it for one bill, but once you go down that rabbit hole, yeah, it'd be everything. you got to keep going down that rabbit hole. So Joe Manchin is already saying he's not going to sign off on a filibuster or on a nuclear option in order for it to be a simple majority. Yeah, cause so if he does it, nothing is gonna get done unless it's a bipartisan, unless you get at least 10, a minimum of 10 Republicans to vote with the Democrats. Yeah, I just I was just curious about how long it lasts because if you're not, 
you know, Democratic majority and your Republican majority House and Senate, then what does that look like with them just being they able do to do whatever it. they, they, they want? They with judges. In fact, I think it's, it's, I think it's issue. It's not on everything because they did it with Supreme Court justices. Mm. Uh, Republicans used the nuclear option to get their Supreme Court justices versus the 60 vote threshold. Mm. So Republicans have no problem with doing a nuclear option. Mm -hmm. One Democrat in the Senate, one. And that's one of those blue dog Democrats that we talked about before. That's a Democratic, it's a Democratic senator in a Republican state. Trump won that state by like 30%. Mm. So he is definitely going to stay on the fence because obviously he is getting Republican votes in order to continue to win his Senate races. Mm -hmm. So he is a blue dog, which is that's the what a blue dog is. A Democrat that has won in a Republican district or a Republican state. Mm. They tend to be more moderate, they tend to be more center right <coughs> and center left, central center right in their politics. All right. So, that's the filibuster then. That's the filibuster. Yeah, that's the whole show. <laughs> <laughs>